Hi everyone, so today um, I want to tell you that we changed Levi's legal name, legal name, his Korean name, okay? And we want to explain why. So Levi's legal Korean name that his birth mom actually gave him is Nam Il, okay? In Korean it's Namil, Namil. Um, in Korean, for Koreans, our names are usually three syllables. Now that um, in modern times, people are changing their names, maybe two syllable or four syllables, but it has always been pretty much three syllables for anyone. And so I'm gonna show you. Namir, his, actually his birth name, last name is also Kim. Okay? And this is how you write Kim in Korean, Kim, okay? And Nam Il. You see, there's three syllables, one, two, three. So in Korean, you would write Kim, Nam Il. That's his Korean name. Now, same thing with us, okay? Like my name is Kim. That's my last name, okay? In Korea, your last name always goes first. My first name is Ye Rim. So we all, as you can see, we all have three syllables. Now this is the birth name that his mom gave him, his birth mom gave him, Kim Nami, when he was born. Now in Korea, we have this thing that when you are born, um, that generation, each generation, this isn't just for your immediate family. Like for us, it's not just Seth, Ezra, and Levi. All Seth cousins following the dad side, that generation, all the uncle's kids, um, you know, all the boys will have follow this one rule for each generation. So I'm gonna show you, um, let's see, like my dad. My dad, his name is Kim. Chan Hyun. Now, all his generation, cause that's his last name, so first name, the second syllable, or the third syllable, that, Everybody will use Hyun. Anyone that's born in that generation of that entire family relative clan. So my dad's brother's names are, his name is Chan Hyun. His other brother is Ho Hyun. His other brother is Ji Hyun. So all his cousins, they're something Hyun, okay? That's how it works. So like David, his Korean name is Kim Nam Young. Okay? So in his generation of his specific family, this second syllable of Nam, his brother, and all his cousins of that family clan, their first, their second syllable starts with Nam. Okay? So his name is Nam Young. The other families can be like Nam, Nama, Nami, Namho, Nam, whatever. It's Nam something. So we found out that Levi's family, birth family, this is his name, Kim, Nam, Il. Okay? Kim, Nam, Il. We found that his family clan of his generation, the second syllable, everyone is Nam. Okay, now, this is why we had to change his last name, his full name. So when he came to the States, we changed his first name, of course, to Levi. That's how Koreans do it. Our English name becomes our first name and then our Korean name becomes our middle name. And then um, our kids, Seth and Ezra, that generation of our family, is Kim, our last name, okay? Seth is Jun. And then 
His last syllable is Hyun. Ezra is Kim Su Hyun. Okay, so as you can see, this Seth's generation of David's side of the family, their third syllable ends in Hyun. Okay, so we knew that Levi's family, their second syllable has to be Nam, but then our side of the family, our third syllable has to end in Hyun. So what we did was we got rid of this, Il, Nam Il, and then we merged the two family name together. So then this became Hyun. So now his legal name is Nam Hyun. Nam from his birth family and Hyun from our family, okay? So it's Nam Hyun, Levi Nam Hyun, Kim. Okay, now his mom did give him the name Namil and that is very precious to him, precious to us. So what we do is at home we call him Nam, Nam, Namil. And then, you know, a lot of times I just call him Levi because, you know, we have a lot of non-Korean friends and, you know, they can't always pronounce Namil very well. So I will call him Na Levi, Levi, and then I also call him Namil. So it's half, half, 50-50, I call him Levi and Namil. He calls himself a lot of times Namil. So in Korean, he will say Namiri, like Namil will eat, Namil will play, Namil will sleep. So he'll say Namil nai nai. Namil mama, like Namil wants to eat, like things like that. So that's how we do it. And the reason why I call him Namil because it's because I want that name to be very familiar to him so that when he meets his birth mother and reunites with, um, with his birth family one day, that, that when they call him Namil, that will be a very familiar name to him. But because he, is, he has now joined our family, we decided to um, merge his side, his birth family and then our family and then make it into Levi Namhyun Kim. So that is his new legal name. Um, David tends to call him Namhyun. So he understands that his legal name is Namhyun. I call him Namil and also Levi and our kids also call him Levi. So, but he seems to understand that Namhyun is his name, Namid is his name, and Levi is his name. So that has not been an issue. So um, when you adopt a baby from Korea, you will see that their name is three syllables like this. Okay, Kim Namhyun. Oops. Or Kim Junhyun, Kim Suhyun. It's always three syllable, the Korean. Now, I also want to go over this. You are probably confused. How come Levi's birth name is Kim, and you guys are also, we are also Kim, okay? I would say out of Korea, these four names are the most common last names. Kim, Park, Cho, Lee. In fact, my family name is also, last name is Kim, and David's family name is Kim also, and the Levi's last name is Kim also. So in Korea, about 15% of Koreans are Kim, 15% Park, 15% Cho, 15% Lee, and then the rest of 40% of Korea has all sorts of last name, like Kang, Pak, um, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of last names, but these four are the major last names that you will see. So each family though, depending, even though it's Kim, um, you have a different region where your family root came from, okay? So uh, I forgot, David told me, actually, yeah, David told me where his family was from, but I forgot. But my side, like my dad's side of the family, the root of Kim is from Goryeong. Goryeong is a city like long time ago, okay? Goryeong. Goryeong is where his generational, um, you know, like great, 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 great grandparents came from. And so, our last name, we will say, which Kim are you? Which family of Kim are you? And we will say, we are Goryeong Kim. So when David and I met, and then um, we were thinking about dating, like I was like, what Kim are you? Because that's important because you might be related to me somehow. And then, you know, we can't date then because, you know, that's not right. So he, he actually, I don't think he knew. And he had to ask his parents where he, where, um, 
his family was from. And then, so we found out that he and I were a totally different Kim family. So, you know, we were able to date and then eventually get married. So that's an interesting cultural aspect of a Korean last name and Korean name that I wanted to share with you today.